welcome back to my channel guys so today i will be filming a detail makeup tutorial but before we start go like and subscribe how we post the rosa family if y'all not like and subscribing exactly but y'all I am going to be doing a detailed makeup video to the best of my ability because I just started like getting into makeup like I always wanted to do it but I felt like it was too hard so this video is just gonna be me like giving y'all little tips and tricks that I wish I knew when I just started so always start off your makeup look with a fresh face freshly washed clean face so that you're getting rid of all that excess oil or dirt or just any little thing really okay guys so first we gonna walk through all the stuff you need. So, first we're starting off with my Fenty Beauty, right? It's called True Matte Primer. So this is it. Let me see. Get focus. Man, y'all see what it is? But it's the Fenty, my Fenty Beauty True Matte. And this is a primer. Honestly, with primers, some people do their makeup without primers. Some don't. To each its own. But I have oily skin. And this is what this primer is known for helping with oily skin. So, I just use it. And honestly, I can say a little bit do not go a long way. It dries up fast. So, you're going to use it, you know, quite a bit. But I'm mainly putting it on like places that I know I sweat a lot. So like my forehead, I know I sweat a lot on my forehead. Like that's like the main main spot that I have to put it on. So put a little bit right here again in my creases where I know I sweat a lot. Ooh, okay. So that's with the Fenty Max. <laughs> I do my eyebrows first. I don't know how everybody else do their makeup, but I personally like to do my eyebrows first. So right now, I use two different concealer types to do my eyebrows, to be honest. Like this from LA Colors. This one, concealer. What color is this in? This is in CC568, and it's the color Deep. This one I know is a like perfect match to my eyebrows. And I don't like for my eyebrows, like the concealer on it to be showing once I put my foundation on. So I usually want it to be my exact color. But between this and my Fenty Beauty in 380, I know that this is my perfect match. So I use these to do my eyebrows. But if you want to have like a lighter look on your eyebrows, then you can do it with something way lighter or something just your skin tone. Because this one, the 350, this is the concealer I put under my eyes. Okay, and then for the eyebrow thing, I use this one. Guys, honestly, I want to say, like, when you first start doing makeup, like, I went to the dollar store when I first started doing my makeup. Like, learning to do my makeup, I went to the dollar store and I learned, and I looked on YouTube, all the stuff people said you needed. And I went to the dollar store and I found the cheaper versions. Because when you first learn to do your makeup, like, unless you got it like that, it's expensive. So why buy stuff? that you don't even know if you need yet so i went to dollar store and i bought like and i used amazon i ordered like cheap little stuff to start like learning with because it's really a trial and error thing kid y'all not like these brushes i got them off amazon and i might put them in the link for y'all but i got them off amazon they work perfectly so this the eyebrow one that you dip in there and you draw it on and then this the one that you use for your concealer y'all and i don't be knowing the name of stuff I can tell y'all that right now. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows first. Okay, and disclaimer, I have thick eyebrows. Like, if you can't see already, like I have thick eyebrows. Like my eyebrows are thick. So when I'm filling it in, I really don't have to do like a lot. Like it's easy. But for the longest, it was hard for me to learn to do it because the fact that I had so much eyebrows, I feel like I always filled it in too much and I already got these. Now I look I got bushy eyebrows, which I do, so it made it worse. But you want to use a mirror or something up close. Let me set this 
up. Y'all gonna see me looking. I'm looking in my mirror right here. So, fix that. So when you first start doing it, you want to make sure your eyebrows are like fresh, freshly waxed or whatever you do to get your eyebrows shaped right. You want to make sure you do that before you get your eyebrows done. It'll make it easier, but because honestly, right here, you can see that my hair is already growing back because I got like a wax. I waxed my eyebrows like a month ago, so it's growing back, but I'm only doing this video for this purpose, so I didn't get my eyebrows waxed, but it's okay because the concealer will hide that. So first you wanna brush up your eyebrows like you see me doing. And you can use a um, the liquid gel that makes your eyebrows don't move. I heard that helps a lot, but honestly, I don't care for it. I haven't tried it yet either. So you're gonna go into your thing and you're gonna dip, get a good amount on it, and then just start filling it in where it needs to be filled in. So, and they always say don't start from like your front right here because it makes it boxy. So I start from usually my tail part. I just fill it in. See how I'm like shaping it? Y'all seriously do not look at my face. It's coming off my head soon. Literally, it's coming off my head soon. Probably in today. And you want to use your brush to like shake it out. So I'm gonna go on this one for my bottom one. And I really just put it on my hand, to be honest. I know people that go in with this and they just do it like that, which is smart, but I like to put it on my hand and go in with it like that way. So, just gonna zip it on to hell. Zip it, zip it. And I'm just gonna go in and draw my eyebrow. Like, follow the outline. And I just bring it down to my eyelids, to be honest. See how it matches perfectly? Okay, guys, so after that, that's when I go in with my Fenty 380 and I do my top part. See, I put it on my hand. You see, but this one's like lighter. Even though it's lighter, it's still my perfect like skin, skin tone, but... This one's lighter and then the Fenty one. The Fenty one's like a little darker. But I like that above my eyebrows, so. Hey. Let me see my hand in the way. you see it okay. okay so now we're gonna go into foundation so for foundation I use the NARS 
I use NARS. This is for oily skin. Let me shake it up because it gets liquidy, y'all. Like, like, you can hear it. So I shake it up because I feel like I need to get everything back together. But this is NARS Lightning Reflection Foundation. It did say shake well, so I know I was a tripping. And this is in MD3. Probably saying it wrong. But this is it, y'all. So with this, I had to go in. And at first, when I first started doing my makeup, I honestly, y'all was so confused for so much stuff. It took me forever to get my foundation match. Because, okay, anytime I used to go to, like, get my makeup done professionally, I had to put clothes on professionally. <laughs> but anytime I go get my makeup done, like, professionally, like, they always had to, like, mix different colors together to get my, like, color. So with that being said, I had a kind of a hard time because a lot of my friends who are the same color as mine same skin color as me they would like be like okay yeah tiffany you should be this or you should be that you know trying to help me and like it would be like a little too white because like they had different like undertone in their skin like it was a hot mess trying to find my foundation color but this will do it now so you can put it on your hand or you can squeeze it on your face, to be honest. Squirt right here. Oop. This should be good. So, I use a sponge. And honestly, like I told y'all, I started, when I first started doing makeup, I got a lot of my stuff from, like, Dollar Tree and stuff. And that's where I got this from. It's a sponge. You can see the sponge. I've been through it. But, yeah, I got this sponge from the um, dollar store. So guys, you're just going to want to blend, pat it in basically, like, I don't really know how to explain it, like, to say how hard or fat or how white the fat, because you got to be really doing it for me to, like, explain it. And y'all, pat your foundation into your neck, because you don't want your face to be a whole different, like, skin color than your neck, then you look a mess, you look like a clown. That's why when you go to get your like, <laughs> when you go to get your skin mask at like Sephora, or Ulta, or one of those, like try to make them match your neck. Like honestly, I'm probably later on like gonna get a different color on um, to go with this to like match my neck because this is I think too light for my neck. It'll do like it's all right, but like it's too light for my neck. But it matches my face, and since my face is gonna be in this color. I'm gonna put it on my neck too so it at least blends. Okay, guys, blend your neck. Blend, blend, blend. You gotta trust the process when you do your makeup for real because. Ooh, it's so much times I've been doing my makeup and I'm just like, I look like a freaking ghost right now. Like, I look crazy. But I had to trust the process. Okay, y'all. So, after this is when I'm going to go in with my concealer. So, I have two concealers. I have the one from Maybelline New York, which is 25 medium. This is what I bought at a dollar store when I just started to do makeup. Excuse me. This is what I bought at a dollar store when I just started learning to do makeup because... It was cheap, and I was like, okay, I'm learning. But later on, when I went to Sephora, that's when I got, like, skin mask and everything. And I was like, you know what, let me try Fenty's Beauty Concealer. So, this is the color 350. As you can see, it's lighter than my skin tone. But it's not that light. Like, I could have went lighter, but they don't want to. So, guys, this is where I place my concealer. So, I do contour, I do contour my nose. So, I put it all the way up here. All the way up here here i mark it out so it's like the bridges of my nose like right before that that bone you know what i'm talking about when you're doing it and i pull it out and this is something i saw on i forgot where i saw it but she like brought some youtuber did it i can't remember her name but she like brought it up 
she brought her concealer up and I liked when I did it I tried it for the first time on myself I saw like a difference and I liked it so your girl did it but yeah I bring it up like up 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 and then you want to put a little bit here and here and for some reason guys i hate like having my forehead like way lighter than the rest of my face like so i always put like literally a little bit literally like a tiny bit in the middle of my head i don't know why but i feel like it always like i don't know i don't know how to explain it so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it right here too in the bridge of your nose And that's all where I put my concealer. So to make your concealer like spread more and like have fuller coverage, I would, you let it dry a little bit. Not like super soaking dry, not super soaking. <laughs> not like dry to the fact where it's hard to move it, but the dryer, when you make it dry a little bit, it spreads more and like, if you get what I'm saying, you get what I'm saying. I don't really know how to explain it. But let me talk to y'all while my concealer dries. So yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm moving to Virginia because that's my next duty station. And like, I am so scared. Like, y'all. Yeah. Well, I'm not like scared, but I'm like nervous because it's like Virginia. Like, I always lived in Florida my whole life, or even when I lived in Jamaica. Like, I always lived in hot places and just you know places that are similar to where I previously lived. But this, this is gonna be like real real new to me so i gotta be packing and stuff so for a while i won't be posting like any videos until i get there then i'm gonna show y'all my apartment because i got approved for an apartment but we don't speak on that too much because you know stuff happens but i'm gonna be doing like an apartment tour and stuff like that like i got a lot of ideas that i planned out in my head that i'm like putting action and be doing for youtube because yeah i'm taking it serious i gotta start taking it serious but okay, so back to it. This is a contour stick. This itself is a foundation stick, but you can use it for contour. Like a lot of people use foundation sticks for contour. So I saw on YouTube the other day, this girl saying to put your um, contour higher on your cheekbone. Cause I usually put it like right, like here, like right here. I'm gonna bring it up like a little bit more and see what it do. See a little bit higher on the cheekbone. I'm gonna put some right here. I hate contour on my forehead. Like I'm about to stop. <laughs> and she said to put it right here instead of like lower in your jawline. So I'm gonna put it right here. So your contour stick is basically like bringing back color to your face because your foundation just by itself like have you looking a little ghosty. So your contour is bringing back that shape to your face and like that color. Girls that get it, get it. I use, you can honestly use the same sponge that you use to put on your foundation, do your concealer, but I got two sponges. So I'm gonna use this sponge because it has a pointed edge to like get inside the corners of here to blend out my concealer. So, let's get to it, guys. So, I start blending, honestly, from, like, right here. And don't worry about them touching. Like, you about to blend all this in. Like, it doesn't matter. I definitely remember when I first started doing makeup like I did not want nothing to touch I did not want my foundation to touch my concealer I just thought it was gonna mess it up but it's not trust me trust me and guys when you're like patting your concealer like 
make sure you're not like, I don't know how to explain it, like dragging it all across your face because you want it to be light in certain areas for a reason. Because like when I first started, like I used to be fat patting in my concealer. I'm just patting it all around my face. Like, no. Pat it into the area you put it on. when you're um like using sponges and stuff sometimes they get really dry so you can always wet it but i had just cleaned my sponge so it's already like a little damp so that's why you may see me wet it in this video but that's just like a tip you can always wet your sponge like not soaking it wet but like a little damp okay and that's why i like the little pointy part because i can do it like this so i'm about to Blend out my bridge of my nose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying like not to connect it right here. You see how right here you can still kind of see the brownish part of it. That wasn't concealed because that's where I'm gonna put my contour also. But I'm bringing it all the way up to like my eyebrows. But y'all will see. <clears throat> okay, and on that same, but let, let me first put on my contour. Y'all, please don't come for me when you see what I'll be using to like apply stuff. Like I said, I don't be using all these brushes for what they're supposed to be used for. Like, if it looks like I can use it to do something. I'm gonna do it like this. I'm pretty sure this is for like eyeshadow, but I'll be using it to just like apply my contour to my nose part. So with this, guys, I'm gonna put it right here. That gap I told you that she should have left earlier. I'm gonna put it right there. And if you accidentally like, you can see like I covered it some with the concealer. It don't really matter to be honest. You see how I'm bringing it all the way up to like the bridge. And guys, you don't have to contour your nose, honestly. You don't have to if you don't want to, but. If you want to do it, here's how you do it. Because I didn't use the contour my nose when I first started learning. Like, I felt like I didn't want to contour it. So, I didn't. But, now I'll be doing it. You see how I'm bringing it up to like my eyebrows, like right here. And this is just, you know, giving that illusion that your nose is smaller than what it is. So. You gonna blend it out later. And you know, I'm taking the same thing that I used to do my concealer, but I'm using the other side of it to blend out, well, to pat in my concealer not my concealer my um contour so when i pat it out i really just bring it up like i bring it up 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 I ain't gonna lie to you, it takes forever to blend contour in for me. Like that's like the most annoying part. Cause you don't want it to be like a straight line like it is right now. Like you want it to be more blend out. So like I be taking my time to like trying to blend it because I don't want it to be like a straight line. So blend, blend, blend. So, that's when I'm gonna use the same brush that I used to put it on so I blend it out. 
and that's me blending out my contour I ain't gonna lie to y'all it is hard sometimes to blend stuff out especially your contour but you just gotta you just gotta play with it like this I don't even know what this is used for but I'm gonna use it for this to blend out my nose you can always go back um, where you put this concealer right here in the middle. You can always dab it if you like overdo on the contour. You can always re put on your concealer and like touch it up. I gotta start learning to film when I got places to go because I'm doing all of this and I kid y'all not, right after this video, I'm taking it off. I like to just go with my finger and just touch it if I want to take off like color. Okay, y'all see the contour. You see it. You see it. Yeah, you see it. Now that I put back color in my face and my nose is done, I'm going to do my powder. I'm going to go in with my bronzer. So you can put your powder your setting powder you're gonna use your setting powder this setting powder is from Fenty Beauty again and it's the translucent powder in banana I should have got honey brown or whatever the other one was called but it'll do so you just want to dab it on here and kind of knock it off so like you get some of that off because this powder you'll be surprised how much powder like stretches so you're gonna put your powder your translucent powder wherever you put your concealer so I'm doing it all, and this helps your nose too. So that's how I'm gonna start from here. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. I'm gonna take my <clears throat> translucent powder and I'm gonna dab it all where I have my concealer right here. And this helps with my nose, like it helps with your nose, so like shape it. All where I have my concealer, I'm gonna dab it there. Oof. I usually do the thing where I like drag it across but lately I haven't been doing that because I don't know it's been giving me like a ghosty look but I'm gonna take like the residue of it and just kind of like pat it in but usually I usually do the line but I've been trying to stay away from that and we don't bake anymore gals we don't break bake <laughs> we don't bake our face so I'm gonna use my powder brush and dust this off. Powder brush is from Sephora. And I just, I cut it in there and dust it off at the hand on. Don't really know how to explain it. It's just, I pat it in there and dust it off at the same time. All the extra residue. But basically, pat it, pat it, pat it. Right here looks like I messed up somehow. I'm gonna touch it back up later. But for right now I'm just setting it in, patting it. I'm gonna go over my little contour brush on this side because it looks like you see. I don't know, it's something about my nose that is right. Okay, guys, so now I go in with my bronzer. Your bronzer is bringing that color to your face, also, like your cheekbone area. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I don't really know what's the place you're exactly supposed to put it. I know it's like in this area, but I just put it like where I put my contour. And this is also from Fenty Beauty. And this is Private Island 03. So yeah, I feel like I was doing MSR. You know how to be MSR. Like. And I'm just gonna go with. Let me see. This blending brush from Elf. I'm just gonna dip it, like go around, get some color off of it. 
see. Top it off. I'm just gonna. Just gonna go up. You see? Ooh, that's pretty. Just gonna go up with it. Other side. Just kind of like warm up the face. Warm it up. And I also take it where I had the contour up here too, just to like kind of lighten up my skin like, in the face area, like if that makes sense. Like warm it up a little bit. Next, I'm gonna do blush. This. I told y'all I'll be using random brushes for like different stuff. I don't know. Sometimes I don't even know what brushes be for, but I be like, hey, it's gonna work today. And I love blush. Like I love a pink cheek. Like, you know. You know, you know, you know. So I be going ham with this. And this is from Walmart. Alani. It's from Walmart. And this is the Romantic Rose. And it's a powder blush. But I got this from Walmart. Because the girl was learning to do her makeup on a budget. I was like, I'm not spending all this money on makeup stuff. And I just put it on my cheeks. So. You see how it's giving that pink look? Mm -hmm. I love like a rosy cheek like I'll be overdoing it with my blush mm -hmm. like, yes come through blush I love me a pink pink cheek Trust the process still because I still look crazy. So we're gonna do my eyebrows. Guys, this is what I can tell you I'm not good at is eyebrows. Like, I don't know how to not yeah, not my eyebrows. Um my lids. Damn. The matte book. And then you open it and it's from crayon. Whew. And it's just all this. Honestly, guys, I would, like, try to do, like, some yellow or, like, something like that. But no. Because I don't even know what I'd be doing. Like, is this even a eyebrow brush? So, I'm just going to do, like, a brown look. Like, I would do some yellow since I got on, like, a yellow dress. But I'm not even going to go there. So, I just mixed the two browns, to be honest. And I just put it over my lid. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'd be like, okay. Let me just tap that in. This darker brown, like, towards the end. Just, I'm not gonna go close to my like eyebrows because I figured out that's what gives them that. When people have like it looks lighter up here, like towards the eyebrow, like that light lift strip. That's because they put they um they thingy this that close to it. So I just went into that. So I'm gonna go into this light around and bring that in the inner part of my eyelid. But yeah, I am gonna start like youtubing it more how to do my um my eyeshadow because like eyeshadows are so cute but i don't be knowing how to do it so <sighs> your girl just be like okay let me pat some brown because you can't never go wrong with the brown like a cute little nude color that'll do that will do okay y'all so that's really much that's really it that I can remember to do. It's really it for the face. So we're only going to lip right now, but I'm gonna use some setting spray. I like to drain my face with setting spray. Setting spray, and this is actually my friend's setting spray. She left it in my room, so I'm gonna use it. Yeah, matte finish, da da da, all of that. So I'm gonna spray our face with setting spray. Y'all thought I was playing when I told y'all like to dry my face and set me spray and just, just fan it. Just a fan it. I'm gonna take your eyeliner. I forgot where I got this from the dollar store. LA Colors. 
and I'm just gonna do my word line. Your eyes are gonna water up because you know you're going close to your eye. Sometimes you even gonna touch your eyes, no cap. You gonna want your mascara. And it's crazy because even though I don't know how to do my eyeshadow yet, I really do gotta like watch a lot of videos to like learn it because I feel like when people see you and you got on makeup, like they're staring right here. Eyebrows, eyes, lips, nose. I feel like that's the first thing that catches their eyes when you're wearing makeup. So I really do want that part to look great because like I said, that's the part that people see when they first look at you. So. Look at that, already brightened up the face. <sighs> do I wanna do lashes now? And I don't use I glue, like actual lash glue. I use hair glue as lash glue. Call me ghetto. So yeah, I use hair glue as lash glue. It works the same, I've been using this since high school, so I ain't gonna stop now. I'm not gonna stop. But these are lashes, these some hair store lashes too. Put it on the edge. And then unlike lash glue, you don't really have to wait for the hair glue to dry. So I just put it on my bed, on my lashes, lash bed. And I hate my lashes like stick up like that. I need a, a eyelash curler, to be honest, to curl my lashes, but I left mine somewhere. Lost it really. So this is gonna have to do. Yeah. I'm not redoing it though guys, because again, I'm not going nowhere. So it do. It has to do. So that's lashes. I will put on something on your lip so that your lips like not dry. I usually put on Carmax or something. But just something that your lips isn't dry because one day I was, it's easier to put on like the liner outside when your lips have like a little moistness to it because one day I was doing my lips and it was so dry like, my lips were so dry that the freaking liner would even like, show on it like, that's how i draw my lips on this, this oh y'all do not i need y'all like comment and tell me some story times i should tell i'm gonna put a poll on my instagram too because i got i sort of got my life is just like crazy like i got so many stories i can tell y'all that y'all think it's fake but it's not and i want to start doing story times because why not I really just move my lip. Ooh. It's never nude. That's what it's called. This is what it looks like. But this is what I be using for my inner lips. Like, look how pretty that new look. And I just put it in the inner of my lip. Tell me inside out, make my heart beat. Leave no one 
this not lip gloss I wanted to use, y'all. And it's gonna make me so mad. Like, I have another gloss that I use just for this. But I can't find it. So this, this is the lip look. Okay, and this is the one last thing I do do. do, do. This is the last thing I do when I do my makeup. So I take something like this. I really don't be caring. Because I like highlight. Mm, I like it. I know a lot of people don't like highlight no more because it's like, ah, it's played out. I love it. I take my highlighter. I need to get better highlighter too. Like, this is just some cheap stuff I have out. To be honest. But I take it and I go in the corner right here. And I put it there. I like to have that little dot right here. To each his own. This is optional. But I like to have that little. And you see it. The little dot. And then I do put highlighter like. Let me just do it with this. I do put it right here too. Like right here. Sometimes you can't even see it. But I know I put it up. So. I just put highlighter in like little places. And I just, yeah, I love it. And then I do put highlighter right here. I usually go on my highlighter like with my finger, to be honest. Oh, too much. <laughs> Too much highlight right there. Okay, guys, this is the finishing look. So I'm gonna be back with my hair like down so y'all can see it. But this really is like this really I like do my makeup. Let me back up so y'all can see me. Okay, guys, so I'm closing out my video like this because my front camera is messing up. But um, this is the finishing look. I didn't really do my hair because I got nowhere to go, like I said. But this is the finishing look for my makeup, guys. And honestly, like I told y'all before, like it's really about trial and error with your makeup. Like sometimes you're going to mess up, but you got to learn it yourself. So why not? So thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. I got a lot of stuff like coming up in the makings because, you know, I'm moving to Virginia. Like I got an apartment. So like decorate and all that stuff. Like I got a lot of vlogs coming up. So y'all like and subscribe and stay tuned. If you got any questions, feel free to put in the comment section, even if it's not about this video or makeup or just stuff in general. So see y'all boys soon.